In this question, we are told there is a mass that swings and hits this, it collides, the, the second mass, M2. So that tells us there is a collision, and therefore the momentum will be conserved. We're then to, told that the two, they hit each other and they stick together, which we know means it's an inelastic collision, and that means that kinetic energy is lost. So we want to know the change in kinetic energy of the two-sphere system. So the change in kinetic energy is going to be the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. And they're defining the initial kinetic energy as Ki. Now we know that since this is an inelastic collision, some kinetic energy is lost. So it can't possibly be zero. So that allows us to eliminate that right off the bat. Start with momentum. Beforehand, we have mass times the velocity. And afterward, we have the two stuck together, so we have m plus 2m times the new velocity, which we'll call v prime. mv then is 3m v prime, 1m plus 2m being 3m. And you'll notice these m's are the same, so they drop out. We're left with v equals 3 v prime, or v prime is v over 3. So we have two different expressions there relating those two. Next, we can move on to the kinetic energy. Now, the kinetic energy afterward is 1 half m. That since it's stuck together, it's m plus 2m. And the new velocity, v prime, is squared. From that, we subtract the initial kinetic energy, which is just 1 half mv squared. So now, we'll combine these terms, 3m. And now what we want to do next... <clears throat> is substitute in for v prime. So we have 1 half 3m, v squared over 9. v over 3 squared is v squared over 9, minus 1 half mv squared. Now, since the answer is expressed in terms of initial kinetic energy, the initial kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So I'm going to factor out a 1 half mv squared. That leaves 3 over 9 minus 1. Now, 1 half mv squared is k initial. And 1 3 ninths minus 9 ninths is 6 ninths. So you have minus 6 ninths. So that gives us, when we reduce that fraction, minus 2 thirds ki. That is the change in kinetic energy, and that's why d is the correct choice.